one of Aesop's fable, a centipede is just going for a morning walk. Now a centipede has one hundred legs. A frog looks at him, could not believe his eyes, blinks his eyes, looks again, hundred feet, how he manages. Which one? To raise first, then the second, then the third, then the fourth. One hundred legs. If you forget the number, <laughs> you will be caught into your own legs and fall down. He rushes, jumps, he stops the centipede and asks him, Uncle, <laughs> I should not stop you on your morning walk. But a very philosophical question has arisen into my mind, which I cannot solve. I am just a frog, you know. <laughs> Only you can help. The centipede says, what is the problem? The frog explains him that this is the problem. I saw your hundred legs. I counted them. <laughs> And the problem is, how do you manage? The centipede said, I had never thought about it. I will try and see how I have been managing. I have never thought about it. I really have never looked down and counted the legs. You are great. You are a mathematician and a philosopher. And the centipede tried and you can visualize what must have happened. He fell immediately. All his hundred legs entangled into each other. He was very angry at the frog and said, Never again ask such questions to anybody. Keep your philosophy to yourself. You idiot, I have been managing my whole life. And not only I, millions of centipedes are managing perfectly well. Nobody has fallen like me. But now I am afraid. You have created such a question in my mind that if I don't get rid of this question, I may not be able to walk at all. Now tell me how to get rid of this question. The frog said, I don't know. I am myself puzzled. I ask to inquire you because you are an experienced person, an old centipede. And you every day go for a morning walk. If you cannot solve it, how can I? I am just a poor frog. I don't know what happened to that centipede afterwards, but I can imagine that his whole life must have become a mess. Again and again the question would have come to him, hundred legs, am I putting the right leg in the right place? Life has its own ways. The moment you start managing everything, you spoil. Allow life its freedom. 
about love, Allah, freedom. And don't be guided by fixed ideas. Experience. Don't go with the idea that love is permanent or not permanent. Experience and you will know it, what it is. Don't take the criterion from others that what is true and what is not true. These are the teachers who have been spoiling whole humanity. They tell you how to walk, which leg first and which leg second. And if you put in some other order, you are a sinner. You will fall in hell. Hell is far away, you will fall here. 